everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to take a look at some peculiar thing happening with RIP. And what happens with RIP is sometimes that network statement to put interfaces into RIP will put interfaces that you don't want to. So even though you type in version 2 and no auto after you do router RIP, it will still act like a classful routing protocol. So here's what I mean. We're going to go on router 1 and we're going to throw everything into RIP using the network 0000 command. So we'll just chuck this address and the loopback 0 address into RIP on router 1 so everything looks normal. And then on router 2, we're going to set up another loopback, 1010.99.99.24. And we're going to throw loopback 0 into RIP. And then we're going to want to throw this IP address, 1010.12.2, into RIP. And we're going to leave this alone. We don't want this into RIP because maybe we're going to set up OSPF or something later on. So loopback zero, we're going to, we want to leave out of RIP, but you can see that when we do our network statement, RIP is just going to take this and chuck it into the RIP routing process by default. Uh, there's other things we could do afterwards to make that from, stop that from happening. And that will be covered in a later video. So let's go into router one. We'll go into router one and we do enable conf T. We've got our IP addresses already set up. So I'll just do a show IP int BR to verify that everything's there. So that's not a problem. Int fast zero zero. Just do, uh, actually don't need to go into int fast zero zero. That's already set up. So I'll start off with router rip version two, no auto, and then the network statement of all zeros and enter. All right, so life is good right there. I could verify that by show IP protocols, and we can see that we are routing for all of our networks. So router one is all set up. Now the tricky part is going to router two. Now normally, you would do this. You do enable conf t router rip, so that part's good. Version two, that part's good, and no auto. So you think that you know by putting in version two and no auto that Router 2 should recognize that these are two different networks, the 10.10.99 and the 10.10.12 should recognize that those are different. But as you can see in a second, that's not going to work. So first, we're going to put the loop back in there. I'm going to do network of all twos. I'm going to match that IP address uh, directly. And then I'm going to do network 10.10.12.2. That's my IP address. And you can see I can't enter a subnet mask, so we'll hit enter. I'm going to exit out of there, show IP route, okay, that looks okay, do a show IP protocols, you can see here routing for networks 2.0.0.0 and 10.0.0.0, these, these are class A's, and the reason it did that is RIP is a classful routing protocol, it tries to act like a classful routing protocol even though you do version 2 and no auto. So anything that starts with 10 is chucked in there, even though you typed in 10, 10, 12, 2. And you can see in your show run, something interesting. We go into show run and go into router rip, and you can see the Cisco router is very helpful. It changed what you typed in to what it uh, thinks it should be, which is not cool. Okay, we'll go over to router 1, do a show IP route. And for show IP route, you can see that we have a connection to the 10 network right here, 10.10.12.0, which is pretty cool. Actually, I think I forgot something. I forgot to put in loopback1. So we'll just solve that problem a little bit. Int loopback1, IP address 10.10.99.99, and that's a slash 24. We don't need to do a no shut. Now I do a show IP protocols, nothing's really changed, I'm still routing for the 10 network. And because I've got show run, we'll get back to the routing protocol, router rip. And you can see there, since I have that network 10.0.0.0 statement, that the rip statement, rip routing process, will automatically take loopback 0 and chuck it into rip. If I go back to router one, if I hit the up arrow, show IP route, you could see I now have this rip route in there, 10.10.99.0. And if I ping 10.10.99.99, I have a successful ping. 
okay? Which is nice if I wanted connection to this, but I did not. The reason it did that is rip acts like a classical routing protocol. It said, what it did is it saw this 10 when you did the network 10, 10, 12, 2, and it chopped off everything after the 10. It said, well, you really wanted to type in 10, 0, 0, 0. It helped you out. And so everything starting with 10 got chucked into RIP. In a future video, we will show you how to stop that from happening. Thanks for watching.